I decided to recreate Wolfenstein Engine in one day with only the Pygame library. For all your zoomers, here is what Wolfenstein is. Wolfenstein is one of the first first person shooters to be released. It's the reason why you have all your modern FPSs. So after that brief explanation, here is what I did after I began the project. I started by researching how these old renders work. There's something that surprised me. Wolfenstein wasn't really 3D. Let me explain. The hardware during the release of the Wolfenstein wasn't really capable of rendering 3D. So the developers at id used a nifty trick. This nifty trick is called ray casting. The way ray casting works is by sending out lines or rays from the player. And depending on the length of the rays, they will render the walls in different sizes. This would mean that they don't have to render the whole map and it would be very faster. This is easier said than done. I'm lazy and I couldn't really find a detailed explanation or video that was on Pi Game. Most of them used a lot of weird math. After searching for a bit, I found this tutorial by this guy, which was in a different library. Then I did the usual setting up of the Pi Game window. I said I did the usual setting up of the Pi Game window. That's better. I made the map with a 2D list or matrix, like a caveman would. I followed up by creating a field of vision, which was pretty easy. I did this with this snippet of code. After using the code to determine the length of the walls, I finished the 3D renderer. It turns out that I was using the wrong library, and this took me a long time to figure out. Then I made the 3D renderer by creating the while loop, and then basically adding to the ray length, and if it collides with something, then exit the while loop. Then depending on the length of the rays, the renderer would render the walls at different sizes. This is the renderer done, but I still have to code in the movement, which is fairly easy. I basically checked if I was going into a wall, and if I was, then stop. I had to add some final touches. I added this shader script. It was basically an if statement checking if the length of the wall was smaller than this area, then shaded lower. Anyways, I provided the code in my itch.io page for everybody to look at but you shouldn't really look at that. And also comment down below and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and cheers.